11 Things Girls Do If They Want You Navigating the dating world can be as bewildering as trying to assemble IKEA furniture without an instruction manual. Many guys find themselves lost in the labyrinth of deciphering whether a girl is genuinely interested or simply exercising her impeccable manners. Misunderstandings are as common as bad first dates, but what if you could decode those subtle signs with the precision of a seasoned detective? Inspired by the wisdom of Stoicism, let's embark on this enlightening journey to uncover the secrets of reading romantic signals, because who wouldn't want to channel their inner Marcus Aurelius while navigating Tinder? Firstly, let's acknowledge the fundamental truth, understanding women can sometimes feel like attempting to understand quantum physics, complex, fascinating, and occasionally mind-bending. But fear not. With a stoic mindset, you can approach this challenge with calm and clarity. Remember, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. So, grab your philosopher's toga, or, more practically, a sense of humor, and let's dive into the 11 subtle yet powerful signals that girls send when they are interested in someone. These signals, inspired by the calm and thoughtful approach of Stoicism, can help you better understand the nuances of attraction. By the end of this article, you'll be equipped to recognize these signs and navigate your interactions with confidence and clarity. You don't need any special tools or gadgets for this tutorial. All you need is an open mind and a keen willingness to observe and analyze the behaviors and cues exhibited by the girl you're interested in. Let's get started. 1. Sustained eye contact. Ah, the subtle dance of eye contact, the silent language of the soul, or at least the most flirtatious part of it. Picture this, you're engaged in conversation, your wit is flowing like a river in spring, and suddenly you notice she's not just looking at you, she's asterisk staring star. And no, you don't have spinach stuck in your teeth, phew. It's a prolonged, almost hypnotic gaze that says, hello there, I'm quite intrigued by what I see. Now, before you start imagining wedding bells and naming your future children, let's decipher this subtle semaphore. When a girl maintains eye contact longer than the average Snapchat streak, it's like she's sending you a telepathic message, hey, I like what I see, and I want you to know it. It's a bit like winning a game of emotional chicken, she's daring you to look away first, but with a mischievous glint that says she wouldn't mind if you didn't. Think of it as the ultimate showdown of interest. It's not just a casual glance, it's a full-on stare down, minus the cowboy hats and tumbleweeds. And if she's throwing in a smile, well, consider that your jackpot moment. That grin is like a neon sign saying, congratulations. You've unlocked level I'm definitely into you. So, next time you find yourself in a staring contest that doesn't involve a mirror, remember, if her eyes are locked on yours like they're holding the winning lottery ticket, it might just be your lucky day. And who knows, maybe one day you'll look back on this moment and laugh about how it all began with a gaze that could melt icebergs and hearts alike. 2. Mirroring your actions. Ah, the mystical dance of romantic attraction. Picture this, you're at a cafe, innocently sipping your latte, when suddenly you notice your companion, mirroring your every move like a particularly enthusiastic reflection. You take a sip, she takes a sip. You lean in, she leans in. It's like a synchronized swimming routine, except with less water and more caffeine. But fear not, dear friend, for this isn't some bizarre case of copycat behavior or a sign that you've accidentally stumbled into a parallel universe where everyone is your doppelganger. No, this is the subtle art of subconscious mimicry at play. When a girl likes you, her brain goes into stealth mode, stealthily analyzing your every gesture and posture like a detective on a caffeine high. And then, like a skilled mime artist, she unconsciously imitates your actions. It's her way of saying, hey, we're in sync, you and I. Let's do the tango of flotatious body language. So, next time you find yourself in this delightful scenario, just remember, it's not just your charming wit and dashing good looks that have her enthralled, although they certainly help, it's the invisible thread of mimicry weaving its magic between you. And who knows, maybe one day you'll both take a sip of your drinks at the exact same moment, causing a ripple in the space-time continuum and cementing your bond forever. Or, you know, you could just ask her out for another latte. Either way, it's bound to be an adventure. 3. Light touches. Ah, the mystical language of physical touch. When she gently taps your arm during a conversation, it's like Morse code for comfort and connection. Think of it as her way of saying, hey there, I'm vibing with you. 
Picture this, you crack a joke that even your pet goldfish would chuckle at, and there she is, giggling away while her hand casually grazes your arm. It's not just laughter, it's laughter with a touch of I'm into this moment and you. It's almost like she's a secret agent, but instead of deciphering codes, she's sending signals through her fingertips. And guess what? You're the lucky recipient of this tactile transmission. So, next time you find yourself in the midst of a conversation and her hand decides to play a game of tag with your arm, just remember, she's not just touching your arm, she's touching your heart, metaphorically speaking, of course. 4. Leaning in. Alright, so picture this, you're at a bustling party, music blaring, people chatting like there's no tomorrow, and suddenly, amidst the chaos, you find yourself engaged in a conversation with a girl. Now, here's the kicker, despite the cacophony around you, she leans in closer, as if she's about to spill the juiciest gossip of the century. And it's not just once. Oh no, she's not playing a one-time leaning game here. Every time you speak, it's like she's magnetically drawn to you, edging closer and closer, until you're practically sharing the same breath. It's like your words are emitting some kind of gravitational pull that she just can't resist. Now, let's be real, she could have easily shouted over the noise, demanded you project your voice like you're auditioning for a Shakespearean play, but nope, she chose the intimate lean-in maneuver instead. It's almost as if she's saying, I'd rather risk going deaf than miss a single syllable of what you're saying. And here's the kicker, even if you start mumbling or whispering something utterly mundane, she's still there, hanging onto your every word like it's the script of the next blockbuster movie. I mean, you could be discussing the most riveting topic, like the proper way to fold socks, and she'd still be leaning in, eyes wide with anticipation, as if you're about to reveal the meaning of life itself. So, yeah, when a girl leans in closer amidst the chaos of a noisy environment, it's not just about hearing you better. It's a silent declaration that she's not just interested in what you're saying, she's interested in being closer to you, physically, mentally, and maybe even emotionally. And hey, if that's not a sign that you've got her hooked, then I don't know what is. 5. Playing with hair. Picture this, you're having a conversation with someone, and suddenly, they start playing with their hair. Now, before you jump to conclusions and start planning your wedding, let's dissect this delightful little gesture. When a girl starts twirling her hair around her finger like she's trying to lasso a cowboy, there are a couple of things at play. First off, it could be nervous energy. You know, like when you're waiting for your turn to present in class and you start doodling on your notebook to distract yourself from the impending doom. In this case, her hair is her doodle. On the other hand, no pun intended, it could be a subtle form of flirtation. It's like her hair is saying, Hey there, I'm just going to casually wrap myself around my finger while I gaze into your eyes. No biggie. It's her way of sending out little signals without having to hire a skywriter. So, the next time you're chatting with someone and they start playing with their locks, don't panic. Take it as a compliment, or maybe just a sign that they need a stress ball. Either way, keep the conversation flowing and enjoy the hair-raising experience. 6. Frequent Smiling Imagine this, you're standing there, casually flipping through your latest collection of how to decode human behavior, when suddenly, like a beacon in the night, you notice something remarkable. She's smiling. Not just any smile, mind you, but a genuine, frequent one. Now, before you start envisioning wedding bells and picking out china patterns, let's dissect this a bit. A smile, my friend, is not just a mere curve of the lips. It's a window into the soul, a tiny Morse code signal that speaks volumes. And if she's doling them out like candy on Halloween, there's a high probability she's got a sweet tooth for you. Picture this, you crack a joke that even your pet goldfish would roll its eyes at, but instead of the awkward silence you've come to expect, there it is, a warm, radiant smile illuminating her face like the sun breaking through the clouds on a dreary day. Bingo! You've hit the jackpot, my friend. But hold your horses before you go declaring yourself the next Casanova. While smiles are indeed a promising sign, they're not a foolproof indicator of undying love. Maybe she's just really into dental hygiene and is excited to show off her pearly whites. Or perhaps she's secretly plotting to steal your lunch money, hey, stranger things have happened. In any case, the next time you find yourself in the presence of this smiling enigma, take it as a green light to sprinkle a little more charm and see where it leads. 
After all, life's too short to not indulge in a little flirtatious banter, especially when there's a smile involved. So go forth, my friend, and may the smiles be ever in your favor. 7. Asking personal questions. When a girl is intrigued, it's like she's donned her detective hat and is ready to unravel the mysteries of your life. You'll find her firing away questions like a curious reporter on a mission to uncover the juiciest scoops about you. She's not just interested in your run-of-the-mill small talk, oh no, she wants the inside scoop on your hobbies, interests, and experiences. She'll dive into your hobbies like a kid into a ball pit, eager to know if you're a weekend warrior on the basketball court or a closet artist who secretly doodles masterpieces. And when it comes to your interests, she's all ears, whether you're passionate about astrophysics or have an inexplicable fascination with collecting vintage rubber ducks. But it doesn't stop there. Oh no, she's on a quest to understand the essence of you. So, brace yourself for those personal questions that hit harder than a pop quiz you didn't study for. From your childhood dreams to your most embarrassing moments, nothing is off limits. And let's not forget the experiences. She wants to know the tales that shaped you into the glorious specimen of humanity you are today. Whether it's that epic backpacking trip through Europe or the time you accidentally set your kitchen on fire trying to impress a date with your cooking skills, she's ready to listen, laugh, and maybe even offer some moral support. So, when you find yourself in the crosshairs of her curiosity, just embrace it. After all, it's not every day you find someone who's not only interested in your life but is also willing to navigate through the roller coaster of your quirks and adventures with genuine enthusiasm. Who knows, maybe you'll even uncover some hidden gems about yourself along the way. Just be prepared for the interrogation, I mean, the conversation. 8. Engaging on social media. Ah, the mystical land of social media, where the currency is likes and comments, and where every interaction is scrutinized for hidden meanings like a detective examining a crime scene. If she's popping up on your notifications like a persistent salesperson at your doorstep, there's a good chance she's not just casually scrolling past your content. Think about it, in the vast sea of cat memes and avocado toasts, why would she consistently swim over to your corner of the internet? Maybe she's genuinely interested in your life updates, or perhaps she's just practicing her thumb exercises. But more likely, she's sending you subtle signals from behind the safety of her screen. It's like a modern-day love letter, except instead of parchment and quills, it's pixels and emojis. She's leaving a digital breadcrumb trail, hoping you'll follow it straight to her heart, or at least to her DMs. So, next time you see her name pop up in your notifications like a recurring character in a sitcom, take note. She's not just hitting like or dropping a comment, she's sending you a virtual love note, wrapped in the guise of social media interaction. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll look back on these digital flotations and laugh about how it all started with a double tap and a witty comment about your brunch. After all, love in the digital age is just as bewildering and delightful as trying to figure out which filter makes your avocado toast look the most photogenic. 9. Finding reasons to spend time together. Picture this, you're casually sipping your morning coffee, minding your own business, when suddenly, out of the blue, there she is, like a ninja in a rom-com, suggesting you join her for a coffee break. Coincidence? I think not. This isn't just any coffee break, this is the covert operation of affection, orchestrated by none other than the girl who's got a crush on you. And it doesn't stop there. Oh no, she's not content with just a caffeine-fueled rendezvous. Next thing you know, she's popping up at the most unexpected places, like a recurring character in your life sitcom. Suddenly, she's showing up at the yoga class you mentioned in passing or the book club you've been meaning to attend. It's like she's playing a game of Where's Waldo, but with herself, and spoiler alert, you're always the lucky finder. But let's not overlook her strategic genius here. By seamlessly integrating herself into your world, she's not just suggesting hangouts, she's engineering serendipitous encounters faster than you can say a meet cute. It's like she's the director of her own rom-com, and you, my friend, are the unwitting leading man. So, the next time she proposes another rendezvous or casually mentions she's taken up pottery because, hey, who knew you were so into ceramics? Just remember, it's not just coffee she's after, it's a chance to brew up some chemistry and sculpt a masterpiece of a relationship. And hey, if all else fails, at least you'll have some pretty memorable anecdotes for your future memoir titled The Accidental Adventures of Me and My Secret Admirer. 
10. Nervousness or shyness. Ah, the classic case of operation, blush and stumble. When a girl starts performing her own rendition of a one-person show called the Symphony of Awkwardness, it's a strong indicator that Cupid's arrow might have found its mark. Picture this, you pay her a compliment, innocently enough, and suddenly it's like you've unleashed a squadron of butterflies in her stomach. Her cheeks turn a shade of crimson that would make a ripe tomato jealous, her words do the C-H-A-C-H-A -C -H -A in her mouth, and her hands start their own interpretive dance routine. It's like watching a comedy of errors, except she's the star and you're the unwitting audience. But hey, don't panic. This is not the time to call for an emergency exit. In fact, it's quite the opposite. This is the moment where you get to be the suave hero who swoops in to save the day. Cue the charming smile, the witty banter, and maybe a well-timed joke to ease the tension. So, next time you witness this adorable spectacle of nerves, just remember, it's not a glitch in the matrix, it's just the delightful chaos of romantic interest at play. And who knows, maybe one day you'll look back on these moments and laugh together, reminiscing about the days when a simple compliment could send her into a tailspin of flustered adorableness. 11. Remembering small details. Ah, the mystical art of memory, a superpower wielded by those who pay attention or are just really good at pretending they do. Picture this, you're strolling along, minding your own business, when suddenly someone drops a casual reference to that embarrassing incident involving you, a unicycle, and a swarm of angry geese from three months ago. If that someone happens to be a girl, my friend, you might just be in luck. When she remembers those tiny, seemingly insignificant details about you, it's like receiving a secret signal from the universe that says, hey, pay attention. This one's a keeper. Whether it's your peculiar fondness for triple-shot caramel marciatos or the fact that you once confessed your undying love for llama grooming, her ability to recall these little nuggets of information isn't just impressive, it's downright heartwarming. Think of it as the human version of bookmarking the most interesting pages in the book of your life. She's not just flipping through the chapters, she's underlining the memorable moments, highlighting the quirky footnotes, and probably adding a few doodles in the margins for good measure. So, next time she brings up that time you tried to break dance and accidentally knocked over the potted plant, take it as a sign that she's not just scrolling through the feed of your existence, she's binge-watching the entire series and eagerly awaiting the next episode. And hey, if nothing else, at least you'll never have to worry about forgetting your own birthday again. Let's paint a picture here, shall we? You're sitting across from your potential sweetheart in a cozy cafe, sipping on a cup of joe, and trying not to spill it on your shirt. As you engage in conversation, you notice something intriguing, her eyes are glued to yours like they're watching the latest Netflix series. It's like she's saying, hey, I'm not just here for the caffeine, I'm here for you. But wait, there's more. Every time you open your mouth to share your brilliantly witty anecdotes, or at least you think they're brilliantly witty, she leans in, hanging onto your every word like it's the juiciest gossip in town. And when you finally unleash that killer punchline, she doesn't just politely chuckle, oh no, she's practically slapping the table in hysterics, all while delicately brushing her fingers against yours like she's playing an impromptu game of thumb war. Now, let's fast forward to the digital realm. You've just posted some envy-inducing photos from your latest adventure, you know, the one where you conquered Mount Everest on a unicycle while juggling flaming pineapples. And lo and behold, who pops up in the comments section? None other than your coffee date companion, reminiscing about that time you mentioned your fear of heights and your inexplicable love for tropical fruits. In both scenarios, these signals aren't just random occurrences, they're like neon signs pointing towards one unmistakable conclusion, she's into you. So, the next time you find yourself in a similar situation, just remember, when it comes to decoding romantic interest, sometimes it's not just about reading between the lines, it's about reading between the laughs and the likes. Think of it as a dance with a sprinkle of Sherlock Holmes flair, you're picking up on subtle clues, like a detective in a mystery novel, but with a dash of charm and a hint of wit. First off, let's talk eye contact. It's like the secret handshake of social interaction. You're not just staring into the abyss, you're locking eyes like you've just found the last piece of the puzzle. Maintain that gaze like you're in a staring contest with your reflection, but, you know, less creepy. Now, on to conversations. It's not just small talk, it's your chance to be the smooth operator of dialogue. 
Ask questions that show you're genuinely interested, like you're hosting your own late-night talk show and she's the A-list celebrity guest. And remember, listening is key, not just nodding along like a bobblehead, but actually absorbing what she's saying, like a sponge in a sea of fascinating anecdotes. And let's not forget the light touches. Think of it as the seasoning to your interaction dish, sprinkling sparingly, but with just enough flavor to keep things interesting. It's like playing the innocent game of tag with your fingertips, playful, yet oh so flirtatious. But above all, keep it genuine. Authenticity is your secret weapon, like having a cheat code in the game of love. So, channel your inner James Bond meets Mr. Darcy, and you'll be irresistible faster than you can say, shaken, not stirred, with a side of witty banter. Misinterpretations can happen. If you're unsure about a signal, consider the context and look for multiple signs rather than relying on a single cue. Remember, genuine interest is usually demonstrated through a combination of behaviors, not just one. Understanding these 11 signals can greatly enhance your interactions and help you navigate the complexities of dating. By recognizing these cues, you'll be better equipped to respond appropriately and build meaningful connections. Now that you're armed with this knowledge, start observing these signals in your interactions. Share your experiences or any questions you have in the comment section below. Let's learn and grow together in our understanding of human connections.